Yes, indeedy. Yes, indeedy. Yes, indeedy. We are finally here. I'm finally back with another episode. Which episode, you might ask? Episode 4. And this is going to be an epic one. I'm going to show you pictures I took today at the Sports Fest. I have an exclusive interview with Crossfire Entertainment's Aaron Camarero. That's going to be a great interview. I also have uh, pictures from tonight's Tenacious D show. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be epic. I'm not going to waste any more time. Let's just get to it. Yes, as you can see, uh, it was a great time at the National Sports Fest, a tremendously fun time. I uh, got to meet a lot of people there, got to meet uh, Blaine Bishop, as you can see by one of the pictures. Um, Keith Bullock was there too, Mike Keith. Uh, they had a great panel in the Tennessee Titans, it was great to listen to them. Uh, Phil Fulmer was there, it was great to talk with him and reminisce about some great Tennessee memories and uh, talk about the future of the Vols. Um, and of course... Obviously, it was very noticeable. Mick Foley was in, uh, was in Nashville. I got was really, really lucky that I got a picture with him because um, he was literally in and out. I think I'm one of the few people. I think I'm me and about four of the people probably got a picture with him. So that 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 was just I feel very honored that he took the time. He said, "Yeah, can, yeah, you can get a picture real quick." And that was my camera kept fumbling. I I kept like I'm sorry. I kept apologizing. I was like, "Just relax. Take the picture." And uh, that's what you see on there. Um, that's going to be great. Also, while I was there, the last uh, picture you saw was um, Aaron and Marcus from Crossfire Entertainment. I actually got to speak with Aaron about an exclusive event going on August the 4th. And uh, take it away, Aaron. In case you didn't know already, I know you know. Oh, yeah. August 4th, you uh -huh. got Brett the Hitman Hart coming right here to Nashville, Tennessee. You know, that's pretty much a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. It is, it because, is. Because, you know, seriously, how often does Brett Hart come? States anymore. I mean, exactly. Unless he's here with the WWE or something, and then you're not really going to get a chance to meet him. No, you're well, not. That's where we do things differently here in Crossfire. We give everybody a chance to meet their favorite stars, and that includes Bret the Hitman Hart on August 4th. Plus, we're crowning our inaugural first-time champion, heavyweight champion for Crossfire on August 4th down at the fairground. So if you haven't got your tickets yet, I suggest you get on the case. Check out the website. It's www.crossfirellc.bze.com. I don't know how I remembered all that, but I'll, that's what it is. I remember it all. We'll post it all underneath. And uh, VIP tickets are sold out. The only They're tickets gone. you can get are, G, are GA, cheap seats, nosebleeds. But, uh, I was you know, in the Tennessee the, State Fairgrounds, any seat's a good seat. So, pretty much. You know, the good ones are still available, just oh. not the ones up front. Yeah, well, also, I was talking to Tony Falk. He was talking about making this the biggest crowd in the fairgrounds history. I don't see how it can't be. I mean, it's got to be the biggest show in fairgrounds history. I mean, you look back, way back in the day, I mean, there were some big shows. That building was built for professional wrestling. So there's been some big shows over the years, but not Brett the Hitman Hart. Not like we do at Crossfire. So. All righty, Aaron. We Thank appreciate you. it. Thank yeah, you. I find appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you, on-field reporter. Let me remind you that the memo said no more, all righty, then not more. Anyway, with that said, Aaron uh, did have an excellent point. August the 4th is possibly going to be the biggest, biggest wrestling crowd in the city of Nashville's history. That will be awesome. It will be epic. As whoever's cool usually says that. Um, there are one match that they're not that uh, Aaron didn't speak of that I want to promote and advertise is the fact that uh, former WWE diva Jillian Hall will be there and she will be facing Jessica Havoc and also um, one of the big guys there, Hammerjack, will be facing two, two, not one guy, but two guys. The uh, two members of the Juggalos. That's going to be uh, just a hardcore match, literally and figuratively. And that's just going to be a matchup that I'm I'm looking forward to. I'm also looking forward to the crowning of the uh, inaugural champion. Like uh, I'm leading into, I'm going to be there August the 4th. I will be there with cameras, ready to roll, kicking butt, taking names, taking pictures, maybe getting some interviews. Who knows? <laughs> Thank you.
Also, uh, someone else I mentioned there, Tony Falk. He has a wonderful son named LT. Um, they actually do wrestling at the Stadium Inn uh, every Friday night. I'm actually uh, going to go to one of these events one of these days. So I actually have an active Friday night off, and uh, I'm going to be taking some pictures. Um, I know they're advertising Dutch Mantel next Friday, and in a couple of weeks they're advertising Raven versus their heavyweight champion Josephus. That's going to be a matchup that I'm actually looking forward to. Um, I think if you live in Nashville and you want to check out wrestling, go to the Stadium Inn every Friday night. And if you haven't gotten your tickets yet for August 4th, like I said, VIP tickets are sold out. However, general admission tickets, they're 10 bucks a pop. And I've already been repeatedly assured that even if you're GA, it doesn't matter. The wrestlers will be there to sign during the uh, before the bell t before bell time. So if you get in by 6:30, doesn't matter. Bell time is 7:30. If you can get in line and wait for the wrestlers, I'm pretty sure you'll get your autograph signed. This is going to be a huge, huge event. You have I don't I don't think the city of Nashville has grasped it yet, but once it does, it's going to be epic. I I can't wait to be there. And now. Just to um, close out the night, here's some pictures uh, I took from tonight's Tenacious D concert. Tenacious D did put on a great show at the Ryman. I just have one thing to say. I want to know, I actually, if anyone can tell me, it would be great. I wonder what those old, old ushers felt when the last song in the evening had to do with the subject of coitus. I'm just curious because this is the Ryman Auditorium. It used to be the Cathedral of Country Music. There's Tenacious D up there speaking about aggressive coitus. I'll say that, I'll say it nicely. But, uh, yeah, that was that was an interesting. Uh, I had the interesting thought on the way home. That's gonna do it this week on Half Pints Point. <laughs> okay, Mick. Fine. I'll let you close it this time. But next time you owe me. I'm just saying. All right. I don't know when the next episode will be, so I don't know yet. When I get around to it, I'm going to. Uh, I'm going to be working on a couple of big projects coming up. Uh, but by the next show. I should have a huge announcement, hopefully, fingers crossed. Um, until then, this has been Half Pints Point. Question of the two of you sitting there, because you, you look very interested and entertained, <laughs> but you're not, you're not wrestling, you're not familiar, so this is like an educational experience, <laughs> and have I exceeded your expectations? <laughs> That's the benefit of being a wrestler. children's books. And I said, yeah, Katie, I believe your book and mine were on the bestseller chart at the same time. And she said, and may I say, Mick, it was an honor to be there with you. <laughs> and I can swear that I felt her hand on my knee. <laughs> <laughs> and then when I left, as the big door was closing, it was like this far from being closed, I heard Katie Kirk go, he was cute. <laughs> Not like, wow, he was hot cute, but like,